experiencing the fullness of God. That's what we're talking about this week on Strength for Today. Today is Wednesday, August the 22nd, and it's Audrey Hoskins' birthday. Happy birthday to you, Sister Audrey. If you folks are listening, give her a call. She'll love to hear from you. We've been talking about the experiencing the fullness of God. We we're talking about prayer to strengthen, be strengthened by the Spirit. And while you're praying and waiting on the Lord, first of all, your way is going to be made complete. And you've got to your watch care is promised. And you've got to wait patiently. Now today, we're going to discuss wondrous power. When he does watch over you, and the way is made perfect, and you have waited patiently, and that's done, you're going to see some wondrous power. You're going to see something like you've never seen before. It'll be worth all the prayer. It'll be worth all the times of praying, the agony of praying, the continual praying, the importunity of going time and time again until God answers you. It'll be worth it after all, as the old song said. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 says this. He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I glory in mine infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then <laughs> am I strong. We've got to learn some principles here. We can't be children. We've got to be grown-ups. We've got to be mature Christians. First of all, he said, the Lord's enough for you. You don't need a drink of liquor. You don't need a hit of drugs or a gambling spree to make you feel better. All you need is him. All you need is some prayer and some Bible study and some faith and some good faithful service. That'll get you through. He said, my strength is made perfect in the weakness. In other words, when we're weak, he's strong. Remember that. When you're at your weakest, God's at his best. But he says, I, gl I glory in my infirmities. These have been made just for you, just for your life and your purpose and God's will for you. God has a suited plan for you, a perfect plan. And when you're weak, he's strong. When you have problems, he's working in your life, and you're going to win this thing. So, uh, Corinthians, uh, Colossians rather, 1.11 says this, Strengthen with all might, thank God we can be, according to his glorious power, not by ours, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Wait on the Lord patiently, happily, and all his glorious power will be ours. You see, victory is worth the suffering. Victory is worth the patience. When the victory comes, it's something to shout about. It's something to rejoice over. I had a situation in my life here recently that I personally went through, that I, I didn't go tell anybody I was going through it. I didn't tell anyone what was happening. I just waited on the Lord to God to work out a miracle for me. And I, I didn't really know how it was going to come, really. And sometimes didn't believe it was going to come. But man, when that miracle came, I was happy. I was thrilled because only God could do what he did for me. And I know that and he knows that. One last verse. Philippians 4, 12, 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. It was Paul's prayer that we be strengthened by the Spirit of the Lord. That's my prayer for you today. And may he be your strength for today and yours and someone else's hope for tomorrow.